In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate this Mass for the intentions of all our crew members who are working in the construction of our parish uh, office. We pray for them and we continue to thank them for their sacrifice and for their dedication. And now at least you can see the shape of the parish office now is coming up. And today also we celebrate the Feast of St. James, the Apostle of Jesus. He reminds us that uh, as the Apostle of Jesus, we are called to proclaim the good news. And he did it throughout his life. And he was so successful because he put his trust in Jesus. And coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my thought, through my most grievous, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Virgin Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of my God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us glory to, to God, God in the highest and, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of the Father. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who consecrated the first fruits of your apostles with the blood of St. James, grant, we pray, that your church may be strengthened by his confession of faith and constantly sustained by his protection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we hold this treasure in earthen vessels that the surpassing power may be of God and not from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not constrained, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying about in the body the dying of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. For we who live are constantly being given up to death for the sake of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since then we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed, therefore I spoke. We too believe and therefore speak, knowing that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus 
and place us with you in his presence. Everything indeed is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall shall reap rejoicing. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. I chose you from the world. Go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, what do you wish? She answered him, command that these two sons of mine sit one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, you do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, we can. He replied, my chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it had been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make the authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be you a slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to save and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, every time when I read uh, this Gospel, trying to read the minds of the two apostles, the two brothers, James and John. They were so close with Jesus because of uh, of their relationship. So even for the gospel today, we hear the mother approach Jesus as someone who is close with you. You don't feel distance. You come closer eh, as relatives. You talk with them. Oh, so, Master, eh, when you are in that kingdom, she hoped, she knew that one day Jesus will become someone. Please, please, make sure one of my sons is on your left side and right side. So, as human beings, that's who we are. 
eh, imagine eh, one of your son has become somebody and then one of his cousins or someone from the uncles and what uh, is looking for a job after finishing universities and then he's approaching you and some, something is happening in the, his office. He can say, can you look something there eh, and see it to your cousin? Eh? That's what is happening. <laughs> in Tanzania, we have those presidents, uh, I think the second president and the third president, they have their own children. And even the president now of Zanzibar is the son of the former president of the Republic of Tanzania. Imagine. Even some of them we have, their sons and daughters, they are in the member of parliament, and some they are ministers. So that is normal, that's humanity. But Jesus is bringing something. He asked the two sons, are you ready eh, to drink the cup, the chalice, which I'm going to show you? They say yes. And they were really uh, committed. If you see the life of John and the life of James, at the end, James died. He sacrificed his life. He died as a martyr. But John, he died at the age when he was an elderly man. God's ways are not our ways. But they were ready. And they proclaimed the good news no matter what. And they were ready to fulfill the mission of Christ. They were really the true apostles of Jesus. They were ready to humble themselves. But what happened for the rest of brothers, apostles, they were indignant of what they saw for the two brothers. People are looking for a good position. So they saw them that they were trying to uh, be closer to Jesus. And what us? So jealousy. How many times I share with you, eh, my only siblings, my sisters, they showed the jealousy simply because I took some of their daughters to take them to school. Some they didn't perform well. And just one, she became a teacher. And now my sisters, they're not happy. They see my sister that now she's enjoying. But they didn't succeed, their daughters. Jealousy. Why the apostles, they, were, they brought this kind? That's humanity. So today, Jesus reminds us, if you want to be a disciple of Jesus, let your jealousy aside. Put your trust in Jesus and let everything in the hands of God be a servant of all people. Be humble yourselves. Save everyone for the sake of the kingdom of God. And whatever you do, do it for the glory of God and not for your own gratification, but do it for the sake of the kingdom of God. And where two are gathered in my name, I am also with you. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of faith and for the gift which you shared with St. James. He died simply because he was ready to die for you and for the sake of the gospel. And for this we pray. Like St. James and all Christ's disciples, that we recognize that the trials and struggles in life are always joined with the love and mercy of God. We pray to the Lord. May we praise God for the gifts he has given each of us that we might serve him and the body of Christ, the church. We pray to the Lord. For the prayers listed in our, our book of prayers in the commons, may we join together in prayer for God's grace and mercy for the intentions listed, we pray to the Lord. For Gabe, Angela, and all attending World Youth Day to be inspired by the Holy Spirit 
and is strengthened to share the love of Christ for their entire lives. We pray to the Lord. For all those feeling lost, lonely, abandoned, and afraid, may the Holy Spirit guide the right people in, in their lives to bring them grace and comfort. We pray to the Lord. For Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, lay ministers, and seminarians to be filled with the Holy Spirit and share the joy of the gospel with love and integrity, we pray to the Lord. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will come our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Cleansed us, Lord, by the saving baptism of your Son's passion, so that of the feast of St. James, whom you willed to be the first among the apostles, to drink of Christ's chalice of suffering, we may offer a sacrifice pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we are claimed. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until it come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died no mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
they drank the chalice of the Lord and became the friends of God. Let us pray. Help us, O oh Lord, we pray through the intercession of the blessed Apostle James, on whose feast day we have received with joy your holy gifts through Christ our Lord. On behalf of the seminarians and Jim, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Today we didn't have a deacon, but we have someone who is close to the deacon service. He helped us a lot. Thank you so much, Jim. And today, in a very special way, I would like to say thank you for those who are watching online because we missed you almost a week, but it seems now we are connected. Let us continue to be together to remember that where two or three are gathered in my name, Jesus is always with us. We are praying for you, but please pray also for us. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.